I mean, if you think about what the role of communications uh, professionals are, it's really to understand what the behaviors of people are and what you need to do in order to influence those behaviors. So the way I describe my job in an oil and gas company is I have to manage the geology above the ground. I have to understand what are the political risks, what are the geopolitical issues, what are the community issues, what are the activist issues, and use data in order to help me understand the behaviors of people and what's motivating them to act. And my job is to really get people to take actions favorable to the company. And in my business, one of those things is to give us the license to operate. And so if I can't navigate the uh, geology above the ground, we're never going to get access to the geology below the ground. Well, I think a lot of companies, uh, you know, are have started in a reactive place where their communications is disengaged from the business. It's uh, one-way communications. It's pushing information out to people. But frankly, a lot of people have already made the migration away from that because their companies know that it doesn't really add value to the organization. You know, in a proactive world, what we're doing is we're really much more engaged with the business. We're much more uh, strategic in what we're doing. We're two-way communicators, and we're really trying to drive advocacy and that's really based on, um, you know, greater engagement with stakeholders. But the predictive world is really using data that drives more results-oriented communications. In that world, the communications is multi-directional. In that world, the communications is much more focused. And in that world, you're moving from being a valued business advisor to an indispensable business advisor because you're really now moving beyond advocacy to really enabling business outcomes.